Today we're going to explore building custom Trello power-ups. We're going to start by explaining what power-ups are and then build a basic power-up. We're going to deploy that power-up up to Netlify. And finally, we're going to test the various functions of the power-up using card buttons and board buttons. So power-ups, if you're not familiar with those, is for every single board, even on the free account, you can have one power-up active at any given time. And power-ups are integrations with other systems. So you can see if I just pull up the power-ups menu here, uh, you can see I have bulk action, search filter, select multiple cards. So this, is, this isn't, in, isn't necessarily an integration with a third party service, but this is lets you automate some things within Trello itself. Uh, countdown is one. I know one of the more popular ones are like Google Drive. You can embed files from Google Drive directly within Trello. Um, Slack is another one. So any changes that are made to cards that are you know registered to Slack, they'll get notifications. Um, and there, there's a lot of these, right? So like different companies will come along and they'll make their own power-ups. And then you can use these within Trello to kind of extend the system to do more than even it was originally designed for. Um, so yeah, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of these ourself and we're gonna publish it up to Netlify, Netlify, Netlif, whatever. And um, yeah, we'll see all that whole workflow in action. All right, so I have VS Code pulled up here. Um, oh. Inside of Trello, um, it's a little it's a little strange the way that their their power ups work. So they actually they're they're hidden iframes that are kind of embedded in the page behind the scenes. So you don't actually see anything, but that is how like using this this power up script. This is a this is a library that was published by Trello that enables all this functionality. Um, you can use you can build just straight up uh, H you know JavaScript. And as long as it's kind of embedded inside of a, a file like this, like this is just an empty HTML file, there's no need to have any kind of, you know, presentable content in here because it's all, you know, iframes behind the scene and you don't see it anyway. Um, that's where that's where this thing is built. So carrying on, um, we do need to write some code here. So um, once the script is imported, there's a global object called Trello power up. So let's pop that in here. Uh, power up, up is capitalized, and then we're going to initialize this. And then that accepts an object in here. And now I'm going to enter in uh, card buttons here. So these inside of a Trello power up are called capabilities. <clears throat> and there's a list of the different capabilities that you can have to enable for each individual power up in order to basically allow access to certain features within the system. Um, so card buttons is mine here, and this is actually a function. And it's going to accept, uh, I'm gonna name that T. This is this is basically the Trello object that's getting passed in. And then options, open this guy up. And then we're gonna turn an array because these are, it's an array basically of card buttons that we're going to add. Uh, so we're first thing we need to specify is an icon. And I actually have an icon set aside, which is my logo, uh, because that's the easiest that was the easiest thing for me to grab without having to try and create something myself. Uh, and then I also, we need to add some text to it. So this is basically what's gonna be on the button itself. Uh, we'll say hello world. Uh, Cause what this, what this power up is gonna do is it's gonna present a button inside of, inside of all the cards. And when you click on it, it's just gonna echo out hello world through an alert. And then this thing accept a callback and we're gonna pass in a function. We're gonna pass in our Trello object. And uh, this is where you would basically program all the logic for whatever clicking on this button actually does. Uh, so we're going to return T, which is our Trello object, and we're going to pull the card in. And let's see here. Uh, then we're going to then card. We're not going. We don't need the card now, but we're going to use it later. We're just going to say pass an alert and say uh, let's see here. Hello world, like so. And that's pretty much it. We now have a power up. So um, again, you can't really upload this code up to Trello. Like they don't have any, they don't provide any hosting. You have to bring your own. Um, but with Netlify, because it's basically free hosting, as long as you don't have any kind of dynamic web content like PHP or Node running in the background, uh, we're gonna take this code and upload it to Netlify and then register that with Trello uh, so we can get our power up functioning properly. Uh, so I'm gonna right click this. We're gonna open in File Explorer. I need to grab uh, this Trello power ups is the fo folder we want. You can see I have a blank, um, I have a blank Netlify tenant, I guess you would call it, team. 
So there's an empty, an empty section here where we can drag a folder containing files into it. And I named my HTML file index.html because that's what's called by default. So let's drag this guy up here. Apparently it moved on me. Okay. And then on this page, what's important, zoom in here a little bit, is this URL right here. So this is the URL that we can use to access the code that we just wrote and upload. So we're gonna grab this guy, I'm gonna copy this, and we're gonna paste this into our notepad just so we have it saved off. And now let's head over to, i gonna grab my URL. There is another link that we're gonna use as a shortcut to upload our power up. which is trello.com slash powerup slash admin. And this is where you would come to basically register your own custom power up. So I'm gonna create a new power up. We're gonna name it, let's say my cool power up. And let's select our team. Remember I said in front of the stream, like we wanted, like things need to be, power ups need to be registered to a team. So which is why we created a team earlier on. And then last thing, see Trello also likes Netlify because that's what they have here as their kind of test URL. We're gonna go ahead and paste in, oh, wrong one, I forgot I copied something else out. We can grab our URL again here, paste this here and go ahead and create it. Now you can see there's a lot of stuff here um, that you can fill out. So like there's icon, if you wanted to have your own custom icon for the power up, which is probably good if you're building something more for production, uh, categories, cat categories uh, email support. But what's important that we need to actually uh, do before we can try using this thing is we need to head over to capabilities and then you can see underneath capabilities, you have access to all these different, um, well, capabilities <laughs> that power-ups can, can use and can access and whatnot. And if you click on any one of these links here, like uh, card button, card back section is a very interesting one. So if I click on there, this takes you a link to the power-ups documentation. Uh, oh, this, is, this isn't this is a new location. This was not here the first time that I, I was building this a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, this kind of outlines like everything that's required, how to build it, yada yada um so what we need to enable is card buttons because that's what we built and let's go ahead and oh but there's no save on this as soon as you check the box it's basically turned on now let's go back to our board here and i'm going to refresh this show menu go back into our power-ups and you can see there's a new listing on the left hand side called custom so if i select that here's my cool power up let's go ahead and add that you can see this is where the icon would be, but we don't have an icon there, so it just shows blank. And let's go ahead and add this. Okay, and now if I open a card, like we'll open my test card, you can see on the right-hand side, we have Hello World. If I click on this, we get... Now this is interesting too, it shows the, the Netlif Netlify UR, uh, URL and says, you know, that's basically, that kind of proves that it's coming from within an iframe, but this guy has said Hello World. All right, so the next thing is part of another example as I'll show you how you can actually get data from the card. So um, you could pass in um, a string of parameters to the, um, or an, an array of string parameters into this t.card to actually pull out information. So I know the two that I'm, I'm interested in are ID, and then I'm also ID, and then I'm also interested in, what is my example name of the card? And then now inside of here, what I can do is I can say hello world or hello from, and then we're using a template literal and saying card.id, I guess we want card.name. And then we'll put in parentheses ID and then pass in our card.id. Now let's go ahead and save this and we're gonna redeploy it. Um, you can set up automations to redeploy things into, if you had this hooked up to like a GitHub account, all you could do is just push your changes and it'll redeploy to Netlify. But I don't have that for this test account. So I'm gonna have to manually uh, upload my, I'm gonna have to manually upload this again. So inside of my site, if I go to deploys, you can see I have that same box here. Uh, so let's drag this guy back in here. And we can see our new change is published. All right, so our changes are, are pushed up already. And because the code itself is just changed in the back end, there's not actually nothing we really need to do with the Trello power up. The only thing we need to do is just refresh this page. So when I refresh it and then I click Hello World again, you'll see I also have, this is my test card, which is the name of the card. And then I also have ID here. So this is a very rudimentary, um, I think that's the right word, example 
but you can imagine like if you had an API endpoint that is, is used to like process a card in a certain way, scrape data off of it, make changes to it and whatnot, um, you can, instead of having to manually do all those steps by yourself, you can create a power up with a very simple button where if you click that, it just sends a signal with some basic information. Like all you really need is the ID of the card. You know, send the ID to a card to some kind of API that you have set up to automate changing a bunch of things or offloading it to another system. I mean, there's, you know, when you, cause we're talking about web integrations, there's really limitless possibilities on the different things you can do. Uh, but that's kind of an example of what you can do here. So, and then I'm gonna do one more uh, quick thing is we're gonna add, um, we're gonna add a board button. So I'm gonna add a comma here since this is a set of objects that, or this is an object we're passing into the function. I uh, will say board buttons here. And a lot of this is gonna be exactly the same as we just did. So function uh, T options and we'll return same thing. I'm actually gonna copy and paste a lot of this stuff here because again, it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, let's see. So we're going to return that. Pop this guy out there. We're going to leave the icon and hello world the same. Uh, for the sake of keeping things simple, we're going to change that to board because we want to get the board. We're going to get rid of that and then we'll just do a hello world example again. Uh, we're going to pass in board here. Save that guy and I think we should be good to go. Let's go ahead. We saved it already. Same thing, back into Netlify, we're gonna update our site by dragging the folder over again. We will have to make one little change to this, uh, to our configuration of our power up. Now, since we added the, since when we first created the power up, we had to add the capability for the card buttons. We just did that, but we didn't add for board buttons. So back inside of our power up administration area, we're just gonna turn on board buttons. Um, and again, because it's just, you know, code running in an iframe, there's nothing I really need to change, but at the same time, it's not gonna update dynamically. So we're gonna refresh this, and we should see now we have a hello world on the board itself. So like, if you ever wanted to create some kind of integration where you needed to um, grab something from the whole board or make some changes to numerous cards on a board, but you kind of know what they are, uh, I don't know, that's a little more of a far-fetched example, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, you can create buttons that go right on here. You click it and it's like, hello world, you know? Like, and again, this is a very simple, simplistic example, but if you kind of like apply it to your, you know, specific thing that you want to accomplish with Trello, um, it can be really powerful. And I have to say, I, I'm very, Trello's, Trello's power up system is really cool. <laughs> if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and share it out to your friends. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. If you're looking for help on an issue or just want to collaborate with other developers, be sure to join my Discord by clicking the fullstack.chat link in the description below or just enter it into your browser to join. Thank you so much and have a great day.